Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your instructor Sulaiman Salim recording for Himma, for the subject of Fiqh 101, where we will study Islamic jurisprudence, the basic acts of worship, the ibadat. So we will cover topics such as purification and prayer and fasting and so on and so forth. Now in this very first video, I want to briefly introduce the subject of fiqh, jurisprudence, and then we want to touch upon the subject of seeking knowledge, which will help us inshallah ta'ala purify our intentions and stay motivated while taking this course and other courses inshallah ta'ala. Now in the future, if you feel like you're demotivated or discouraged or you become lazy for some reason or another, feel free to come back to this very first video so that inshallah ta'ala you'll be re-motivated to continue seeking knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now when we talk about fiqh, what is fiqh? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us directly through Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man yuridillahu bihi khayran yufaqihu fi din So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said if Allah wants good for a person he makes him or her understand the religion. He makes that person comprehend the religion. And this was reported by Bukhari. This is because understanding the religion is considered one of the best deeds, a sign of goodness. And we know that comprehending the religion leads to useful knowledge upon which righteous deeds depend. Now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly commanded Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to invoke him for more of something. What is that thing? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقُرْ رَبِّ زِدْنِي عِلْمَ And say, my Lord, increase me in knowledge. This is in Surah Taha. So Ibn Hajar rahimahullah, he comments on this verse. And he says that this verse is a clear indication of the merit and the excellence and the virtue of seeking knowledge and asking Allah for more knowledge. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never commanded the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to invoke him for more of anything other than knowledge. Now as such, when we talk about knowledge and deeds, people can be uh, categorized or divided into three different categories. The first is represented in those who combine useful knowledge along with righteous deeds. So they combine useful, beneficial knowledge with righteous deeds. These are the ones whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided to the straight path. This is the path of those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed his favor of the prophets and the, the truthful and the martyrs and the righteous and excellent indeed are those as companions. The second category is represented in those who learn useful knowledge, but they do not act accordingly. So they have the knowledge but they do not act upon that knowledge. These are the ones who, who have evoked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's anger and wrath. And the third is represented in those who act without having any knowledge, and these are the ones who are astray. And the scholars, they say that these three categories are represented and mentioned in Surah Al-Fatiha, which we recite on a daily basis at least 17 times a day. So when we recite this verse and these uh, verses of Surah Al-Fatiha, we come upon these verses. اِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Guide us to the straight path. صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ The path of those upon whom you have bestowed your favor. غَيْرِ الْمَغْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ Not of those who have evoked your anger. وَلَا الضَّالِّينَ Or those who are astray. Now this shows the wisdom behind the obligation of reciting Surah Al-Fatiha every single day or in every single rak'ah of our prayers because this surah contains many great secrets and many great wisdoms and understanding these wisdoms helps, helps us in coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now in addition to attending religious lectures or taking courses like this, it's important for a person to constantly be attached to the masajid, to constantly listen to lectures wherever they are, to be reading books and articles and commentary on certain topics so that the religious knowledge is increased and your insight will be enlightened inshallah ta'ala. Furthermore, do not forget that when you, when you want your knowledge to increase, your good deeds have to increase. So your knowledge will increase as soon as you start applying that knowledge and your deeds are being implemented, your good deeds are being implemented and applied because if your knowledge and your deeds, I'm sorry, if your deeds are in accordance to your knowledge, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase your knowledge. So if your deeds are ap applying everything that you learned, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will cause you and grant you more uh, knowledge and more wisdom. And this will lead to more enlightenment and a closer connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.